this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I wanted to share something with you. It is a dream, a desire, and a heartfelt yearning. And I'm asking you to pray. I'm soliciting your prayers. And this is why I want to describe an impossible dream to you. On the human level, this dream is totally, totally impossible. In the spiritual realm, with God, all things are possible. And that is the only thing that gives me the nerve, or as some folks would call it, the mitigated gall to even have this dream in the first place. And I am going to lay my dream out to you. Now, the reason I'm sharing it with you is so if you know or if you are a person who has the finances to handle this, I don't care whose name the property is in. I am asking God to bless me with a person of means to buy I know this is some nerd, but this is not for me. This is for the Lord. That's why I said I don't care whose name the property is put in. Who will buy a piece of property as an offering to the Lord who has the millions or billions or whatever to spare. There's a piece of property within walking distance of my home. I live in the center of three senior gated communities. I also am within schools and, and a junior college and a major shopping center that spans three blocks wide across from Home Depot and Lowe's and all these other stores. So I am in the middle of a shopping explosion. However, the communities are almost as if we're tucked away in the country. So it really is a perfect scenario sandwiched between our communities and the shopping center happens to be a big plot of land that stretches almost a block deep and definitely a block wide. You hear me? So what I want to do, this is my dream. It's my heart's desire. I want to give myself to full-time ministry. But years ago when God had me start a church, he specified that I was not to start another conventional church. He referred to it as the unchurch. He named it God's remnant. That would not have been my choice. So trust me when I say he named it. Yeah, anyway, I'm not even going to discuss what my desire to name it was because it doesn't matter. God said what to call it. Now, I don't know what name he'll give it this time. My online church is God's Online Church of Love. I don't know what he's going to name this, but it will be affiliated with that. Okay, now I'm going to paint the scenario for you. When I say unconventional, You know how we have ushers and greeters and they're all dressed to the nines and the people have the worship team and the praise team and da-da-da-da-da. Well, we will have a hospitality group, but they might be dressed like a motorcycle. (laughs) They might be dressed like a motorcycle group. They might be dressed like they're ready to go to the beach. And I don't mean bathing suits, but I mean t-shirts, shorts, and flip-flops. They might be dressed in a suit. It just, I want people to be free to dress appropriately, but to be dressed comfortably. So what I mean is you don't come in your underwear, you don't come in your bathing suit, but you can definitely come in your play clothes or your work uniform and be part of the service. I want the, the, now this is what came to me as I shared it with the Lord after having to relocate and take care of my husband. These are the images I had that took the dream much further than what we had in Altadena because in Altadena 
God instructed us not to rent a church building, but to rent a room in a secular building. So we found one in the middle of a park and the park setting made it so comfortable, but it did not appear as a church. It did not quack like a church. It did not talk or walk like a church. It was a very open, neutral setting for those who are turned off to churches or who have been hurt by them to feel safe in the surroundings. You understand what I mean? Okay, now, this is a church for those who are unchurched, those who are churched, and those who are in the middle. They are caught, they're caught between two opinions. Not about God, but about where to worship. Because they don't feel comfortable in the church setting. They don't feel received, accepted, approved of. Do you understand what I mean? Okay, so now lay that aside. Now I'm going to paint a picture of what I'm looking at. There's a plot of land between the shopping centers and all of these communities. Perfect location. If we cannot call it a church, we will call it a community center. But we are the church, so nobody can say anything about that. That's on God. What I dream of, this is what I envision. Of course, a place to worship. It can be very casual. It does not have to look like a church sanctuary. But it would be beautiful because our worship place, that's just me. It's going to be beautiful. I want to have a semi-gym. Even if it's a half court, we want to have a place where men and women can come and play basketball. We could play volleyball. A room where we could, a game room where we could play ping pong, um, Monopoly, checkers, chess, shoot pool, play darts, whatever. And, but the reason I say that is because part of the Christian life does not only include avoiding hell, going to church, doing Bible study, and um, prayer meeting. We as people have fun. We can enjoy the fun together. And those who are unsaved, who may join us, will be won over by our love that we show one for another. Okay. I want to have rooms where we can minister inner healing and deliverance. Some of the services may be focused in on inner healing for the whole group. If we have people that welcome people to come in, help them find the restrooms or whatever, they won't stand there like a bunch of usher soldiers. They will be dressed casually. Some will be dressed up. Some will be dressed down. So that no matter who comes through that door, they will feel comfortable and welcome. You hear what I mean? We will have old, medium, young, everybody involved in running this ministry so that all ages and all walks of life are represented and ministered to. We will, this is my desire now, we will have interpreters for the deaf. We will have Spanish, Filipino. We will have groups of people, people from South Africa, wherever, but we will have people who can come and have a setup where they can hear what's being said in their own language. And we can begin to teach each other each other's languages and have those kind of days where we get together just to learn languages. So we can all begin to communicate across the, div the divides, so to speak. We will have uh, mock job interviews so we can help people learn how to put their best for, foot forward. People who can teach people how to take care of their bodies, how to uh, handle finances, practical stuff 
There could be some tutoring going on after school. I mean, it, I mean a total community center, coffee shop, lounge area, not a church building, something that really gives itself to the community and the needs of the community. Okay. Yeah, that's a big that's a big ticket item, I know. It is definitely on the human scale, especially on the widow's scale and on a widow's budget. It is definitely an impossible dream. But with God, all things are possible. So I am soliciting your prayers. I am soliciting anybody out there who would love to finance a vision like that. I don't care if you put the property in your name. We would just set it up so that it is set up for our ministry. And then if the ministry folds or whatever, it's your property. If you don't want to give it up, that's fine. I don't care. People will not be working for a salary. The offerings that are given will not be tied, tied, tied. You curse with a curse. We're not going through all that. Free will offering. If you want to give to another family, it doesn't have to go to our group. It can go to the family that you know that comes to our group that's really struggling. Or we can go and deliver food to somebody's house that's really having a hard time with some of the money from the offering. I mean, we can do things that really help the community. Okay. I'm not going to keep talking because my dream can go on and on and on and on and on. But for right now, that is it. That will give you enough to pray about if it matters to you. If it doesn't, that's fine. But for those of you who have always wanted to get involved in an unconventional but very effective anointed ministry where we learn to flow in the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the supernatural side of walking with God. Uh, healing, physical healing, inner healing, deliverance, rap groups, I mean, ther group therapy, whatever, just to set captives free and open blind eyes and make the lame walk. And I'm not just talking physically. So, take that to the Lord in prayer, if you so choose. And I thank you for getting involved in the initial stages of this dream. God bless you. And you have a wonderful, wonderful week.